Okay, welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. Um, we're here back out here on the beach this morning now. Okay, I think I have screen recording. I seem to be having some challenges with screen recording. So we're going to experiment with a few things. We're out here on the beach this morning, so uh, we've got the spark. So let's go ahead and I've already checked hover. I'm clear to fly, so let's go ahead and take this guy uh, up. I've got uh, 14 satellites, so I'm really good to go. So we're going to auto launch. We're going to take it up. We're going to do a quick walk around. Everything really looks good with this little guy this morning. I'm just going to do a quick yaw. Make sure it's responding. Everything seems to be good. I'm going to start my video recording uh, let's see make sure video recording is starting okay it looks like video recording starting I'm at 12 for some reason, I'm having some challenges with this tablet updating um, its uh, screen. So we got some shots going out there. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's kind of take it out. Out up over the lake. And uh, let's yaw it around. Let's get some more video footage. And I notice I'm still on 5.8. I think many of you might have, might have recalled in the last flight, I was uh, still on 5.8 and having some response issues. That still seems to be the case on uh, this. Let's uh, look at those clouds out there. Look at those clouds, man. Woo! Those are some really neat clouds. We're supposed to get... Uh, thunderstorms later today so that's why I wanted to get out here in the morning while well, the beach is uh, basically clear you can maybe see some weather fronts starting to roll in from back there so I don't have a lot of time this morning um, but I definitely have some problems with the uh, screen updates here yeah cuz yeah I don't know hopefully I'm getting the uh, Look at the sun coming look at the sun coming down on the lake man that is just some beautiful imagery so uh, again I'm not sure why the uh, why it's flashing out like that now I'm about 80 percent battery so which is uh, still pretty good but you notice the the last um, piece is uh, it, it uh, how do I want to put this? You know, it ran at 70, then all of a sudden did a re battery return home. Now, one of the things at the top here, and maybe for those uh, used to using the uh, the Go4 app, there's a countdown timer up here that works its way down to uh, home return. So you can kind of see your safe operating times and ranges, So, which is really a nice feature. I don't know if it's just buggy with this tablet or what. Um, you know, a lot of people have complained that this that, that, that the DJI Go apps are buggy with Android. Um, with the tablets, they seem to be. Um, I, I, I don't know what it is with them. Uh, the phones, I've had good luck with the phones in uh, the DJI Go app. Look at, look at this frontage. I'm going to try to get some video of this moving in. Man, I really hope this video comes out. But I think part of my lag problem is the 5.8. I'm not a fan of 5.8 for control. Boy, look at look 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 at this weather come in. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's uh, let's let's bump it up a little bit higher. Because again, the the lag really for it to come on. Uh, so it says it still says I'm at 64 feet, and. Um, I don't believe that's the case because I just bumped it up. I think uh, it, it's going to update itself here in a bit. 
but uh, the wind's really blowing up. I might have to bring it back. You can see rain down, down, uh, down lake down there. You can see those striations. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but those striations, those, those are rain. That's rain down there. You can see it on the uh, the video screen too. Uh, I also have wind blowing up, so I want to just get a few more before I lose the weather because I think I might have to issue an early return to home on this guy. This is blowing in a lot faster because again, you can see the rain. Uh, if you look down by the bridge, if you're seeing in the video, if I'm getting the video, and I'm going to try saving it out. Uh, I don't know if I saved it out or not. But you can see the rain on, on the uh, video camera. But again, my telemetry is not updating on this tablet. Which really sucks. So now it says I'm down to 840, but I'm still not getting an update. I don't know. I'm trying to get some of the pictures in here uh, of the um, actual screen if I can without the glare. Because I really hope I'm getting some of this video. Uh, because this, uh, because you can see that, 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 that rain column move across in the video. This is awesome. I'm getting a little bit nervous because the wind is is whipping up. I want to try to get as much of this as possible, but uh, eh, it's not too bad. It might it's blowing. The weather pattern's going a bit below because one of the interesting pieces happened. We're at the mouth of the of Lake Huron, so what happens is that's up lake. So the lake is up there, and what happens is the weather rushes down the lake, and when it hits this section where I'm at, this is where all the nasty weather tends to happen, and actually a little bit south of here, because what's happening is it's it's coming down the lake rather smoothly, then it hits land, and it's like, boom, all kinds of uh, stuff happens. So uh, anyways, this is where you'll see a lot of strange things because you'll see up here there's clear sky and here there's really nasty weather. And again, it's this kind of phenomenon we see down here. We actually even see, because over there is Canada, and we'll actually even sometimes see water spouts um, up here over there. Typically we don't get them on this side of the, the lake uh, because most of the forest is heading and there's more of a uh, kind of offshoot if you look at a map of the bottom of Lake Huron over there where this angle on the U.S. side kind of runs straight down. So anyways, that's kind of like a little uh, Lake 101 weather forecast. Again, I've grown up on the lakes all my life and a lot of unique marine uh, weather happens out here. So again, I really hope I'm getting this rainstorm move across the, the bottom of the lake down there. And uh, I just want to see. So I think I'm, because again, I think you can see the weather up here. This, this cloud section is moving across over here. So I think I'm actually okay uh, to kind of keep going because uh, this is moving a little bit south of me. Because what I'm afraid of is we're going to get some, some gale force winds that will blow in for like 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> and that little quadcopter up there is just going to kind of get sucked out to... Davy Jones's locker. So, uh, anyways, I want to bump this up a little bit more. Take him up there. It's actually doing good. I, I, again, I think for for um, a photography drone, this little guy is is really the cat's meow. Uh, definitely having some troubles, uh, challenges. I think working out um, some of the technology. For some reason now, I use this tablet with the DJI Go app in my Phantom 3. Have not any, had any issues. That's why I purchased it. But again, it seems to be acting up with the 4, uh, DJI Go app 4. So I'm a little bit frustrated. Now, this, these are the first flights, the last video you saw in this video, where I've used the um, this tablet. And again, this is one of the reasons I bought this tablet. As you can see, the form factor works. It's great with these. Uh, I really love the fact how I can hold my hands like this and, and control the copter. So this really works out good. And I am going to... 
I am going to... Well, I think it's already decided it's going to come home. So let's see if I get a little bit better lock on this. Last time, if you recall, I was probably about 10 feet off, which I was really surprised. That's as far as I've been off ever. Now, for some reason, it's turning. And hopefully I'll capture the video. It's turning itself. Now, one of the things to be aware of, this thing comes down pretty fast. Faster than, like, my Phantom 3. And so, again, you can kind of see it come down. I want to... Uh, man, I, I, think I, I think I hit this just in time. Let's uh, try to get it back over there. Um, okay, so I've had to maneuver it back to that pad. So again, it was about a, probably a good 10 feet off. I'm going to let it hover there a second. Kind of let it really discharge itself and then do an auto land. I don't know, it seems that the the video mode, man, I really hope I got the video of that. I wonder if it does on low power and automatic video save. Because the wind is starting to really blow up again. Because again, you can see down here to the south of me, I've got some really nasty weather coming in. Uh, so, uh, okay, she decided she wants to land herself. And I'm going to see if I can't close out some video here. Uh, it seems like that. No. Nope. Uh, this tablet is really acting up. Hopefully I got some stuff. Okay, it said finished recording. So hopefully I got some stuff on this one. So I don't know what kind of video I got. Hopefully I got something good. Uh, it was another interesting flight. Again, I think I'm going to have to go back and um, probably revisit tablet strategies. Let me know what you guys uh, are using with your DJI GO 4 app for sort of a smaller tablet scenario because uh, this is rather frustrating. I like the screen size, as I mentioned before, in comparison to, um, I have it in one of my pockets here, you know, my uh, smartphone. Let me get it in my pocket. So... I really like the size of this, if I get it up here in frame, uh, and I can see it and everything else, but the, it doesn't seem to be working. Because, hey, uh, now, now you see I'm back up to 96%, so this thing is really acting strange. And you can kind of see the, uh, I don't know if you can see the thing flashing over here, but it's, uh, it's sort of doing its own thing. So anyways, hey, give it a thumbs up. Uh, hopefully I shared some experiences with you and that's one of the things I want to mention these aren't really tutorials these are, I'm just sharing my experiences hopefully uh, you learn something from them um, I know a lot of guys out there have been oh my god but you know one of the things folks I'm not uh, HBO Netflix or whatever I'm just sharing my experiences with this so you can learn you can see for yourself what these real life experiences and problems are and how I deal with them and hopefully you'll learn something if not maybe I give you a little bit of enjoyment so again Slam that thumbs up button, subscribe, and hey, we'll catch you in the next video.